All right, so this might be a, a quick video, uh, just uh, kind of talking about religion. Uh, I don't remember how this came up. Somebody asked asked about it recently, and this is only going to account for three of the global religions because this is the way it's been explained to me, and it is not to dismiss other religions or those types of things. This is just to describe how this information was brought down. Um, and that's the core part of this. We went into a dark period of a, our journey as humans because we were shut down. Um, humans decided to control other humans and all this other stuff happened throughout the histories. And as time went on, you have all this darkness in the world, you have violence, you have uh, what we would probably call more primitive ways, non-technological ways of living. You go back to Egypt and Roman times, lots of war, lots of chaos, similar to what's going on now. Um, but a lot of people think we're more advanced when we're probably not more advanced. We're just repeating patterns with more advanced technology. So when you wake up, you start realizing that there are truths in the religions there are truths there, but not everything is accurate. A lot of it is used to manipulate. A lot of it is used to create fear. Um, a lot of it has been purposefully left out. Uh, you know, the one, that, the one that always comes to mind for me is Christianity and how the, the different Bibles are, were put together and different books were left out because, you know, when they're putting them together, they're like, we don't want people to know about this. We don't want people to know about that type of thing. So information's manipulated and uh, that type of thing. But spirits still came down. Beings still came down to earth to incarnate as humans. So energy still came. And at one point, enter three energies came. So they came to uplift the world. But the world did not understand or receive the message that it was meant to, to receive. Uh, I don't remember the timelines, so I don't know who was first. Uh, I believe Buddha might have been first, um, but I don't, I don't remember. So don't, don't quote me on that. But there were three of them. There was Jesus, Buddha, and Muhammad. Um, Muhammad, Muhammad. Uh, so we'll start with Buddha. Buddha was incarnated and came down and was given and brought down this concept of enlightenment, meditation, and peace. Inner, inner knowing, inner self type stuff. Um, working in silent meditation. He was the delivery device, the delivery human delivery person, um, probably a better word, um, of the tool of meditation to grow your vibration and spiritually awake. He was the one who brought down meditation to say, hey, we need to meditate. We need to use this tool. We need to use this tool because it can give us enlightenment. And without using the same words, he said, it can raise our vibration. It can give us enlightenment. It can do all this cool stuff. Um, the tool of meditation. So then we have Muhammad, um, who I, I don't know, I'm not a religious scholar, so some of this stuff might be not, not perfectly accurate, but Muhammad brought down, I, I, so, so I don't know if he brought, if he, I don't think he wrote the Quran, um, but he brought down the idea of Islam, um, Islam, and that idea was about surrender, surrender to God, surrender to the universe, surrender to self, surrender. Um, there's a lot in that space about the surrendering, which we often talk about in spirituality. You have to surrender to the universe, to the will, to your journey, to outside forces, because all you can do is work on yourself. 
So like a big part of the messaging from Islam was about surrender. Uh, now you take that with meditation and it's like, oh, surrender to all this stuff. Use the meditations and work with myself to heal. Then you've got Jesus who came along. And he brought down this idea of service. Help your fellow man. Help your fellow man. It doesn't matter if they're rich, they're poor, anywhere in between. Help them. Give them food. Give them aid. Be kind. Be loving. That type of thing. So you have Buddha, tools, meditation, uh, tools to raise your vibration. You have uh, Muhammad, Islam, surrender, this idea of surrendering to the universe, the will, and not forcing things, not um, getting lost in, in, in trying too hard, but to allow to God. Uh, they, they keep saying me to use the word Allah, to allow Allah to help you, to guide you, to... Um, work with you on your journey which is what a lot of people have trouble with is the surrender part because they want to do they want to take action they want to do all this but that was what they were teaching and then you have jesus who was about service service to man service to your brother your neighbor your sister your family your friends service 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 with love that was the idea humans poof because they had to come down at different stages they had to come down and teach, and they we weren't awake enough to teach the whole thing. So they came down, and you have Buddha teaching meditation, you have Jesus teaching service, you have Muhammad teaching surrender in different parts of the world. Um, well, sort of. Uh, there, there's an argument to be made that they were the exact same spot, and a lot of them learned from masters and things, and... Uh, in hidden areas and, and all that type of thing, depending on, on what stories you read. But, so they came down in those, that, that area of the world, uh, you know, Buddha was India-ish, I forget, forget what, what country he's technically from. Um, and then, uh, you know, Jesus is like the Egyptian Middle East area and same with Mohammed and they bring them down but humans do their thing and create separation, create division, and they take Buddha's work and they package it in a book. They take Muhammad's work and they package it in a book. And they take uh, Jesus's work and they package it into a book. And then more people come and they start pulling stuff out of the book, adding stuff in, pulling stuff out, adding stuff in. And you get this thing where you have three completely separate groups of people fighting with each other um and to, to some degree you could say no they're not all fighting but they're divisive and they you know there's a lot of division because of the religions of the world and really all it came down to is spirit the energy the the energies that were coming down were trying to bring down tools they could in the time they could doing what they could with the energy they could at the time so they couldn't bring it all down at once so you've got three different people three different beings saying meditate surrender service and then you have other religions and stuff in the world too that all have different messages take it all combine it all together and you have one thing it all comes back to your heart being in your heart space, being a fully healed version of yourself in your heart space with love. That's it. So for some reason that came up, uh, I think somebody had asked a question maybe and it was on my notes, but thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Love you all.